Now on drilling it done. So during completion stage, normally cementing also part of completion. Uh, now uh, when you are completing well bore, say you got a drilled hole and you are thinking let us say I cemented, I already told cementing will be there. So you cemented it. So these are uh, rocks okay, and you cemented here and this is metal pipe drill uh, casing. Okay. So casing uh, you can tubingless production also you can do like without any putting any pipe just if it is reservoir you drill a hole here and oil and gas is there lots of oil and gas and that will be moving up and you are getting production. So this is tubingless production but now normally government agencies they will say okay, put tubing because for safer safety reason. If you are not putting, if there is leakage in casing, they, the fluid or hydrocarbon can go into the aquifer zone or surface that where trees will be there, you will drinking waters, that area, if uh, hydrocarbon is entering, that will be dangerous and disastrous for environment. So, government agency will say you put tubing. Now, uh, in many cases, this uh, without casing not possible, so you have without tubing not possible, so in that case, you have to put tubing. So, what you do? You have a hole and cast hole and you put tubing. Okay, uh, this is casing, casing is here and tubing is here. Okay, and this is surface. So, tubing casing you put packer. So, when you say packer, packer symbol is like this one square and cross. Uh, so, what happens? The well bore fluid, if we have this fluid will be entering here, but it will not go to the annular area. This annular area, this annular area will, will not be reached uh, will by the uh, hydrocarbon or well bore fluid. Well bore fluid means uh, oil, well bore fluid means oil plus gas plus water plus sand. So, four items can be there in well bore fluid or reservoir. Okay. Uh, if, if, if we do not put packer, then fluid will enter into the annular area between tubing and casing. That annular area also will be filled by your well bore fluid. So, normally people will be packing or they will be putting some sealing arrangement so that fluid will not enter there. So, that area will be used for some other purpose later we will discuss. Uh, now, uh, in some cases, uh, there will be two types of sand, one called consolidated sand, another way unconsolidated sand. Consolidated sand means consolidated and unconsolidated. So, consolidated and unconsolidated sand means, consolidated means that sand which will be very loose, like if you, uh, uh, unconsolidated will be very, uh, unconsolidated sand is very loose. So, like if you go to uh, sea beaches, you take sand, it will be very loose, right. And un, uh, consolidated sand means it uh, like rock, you cannot move the rocks, uh, some sand you take and from using hand, you cannot remove the sand particles, small, small particles you cannot remove. So, there is consolidated sand, but this is already fixed with some bonding, but unconsolidated means it is not bonded enough. So, if some reservoir is having unconsolidated sand, that means sand will be moving easily when fluid or liquid or oil, gas, water, sand is coming into well bore, uh, well bore to your tubing. So, in that case, the sand, small, small sand particle also will be moving with fluid. Okay. So, that sand will be creating some trouble. So, later I will explain what is the trouble if I have sand in doing artificial lifting. Uh, use of artificial lift, uh, the sand will be creating certain problem. Now, when during completion stage after drilling, uh, you have to complete after cementing, you have to make uh, make the well bore ready for production. When you are making ready, uh, so you have to consider whether it, there is any consolidated sand or unconsolidated sand. If there is consolidated sand, then you can go for a barefoot completion. Barefoot completion means uh, bare barefoot completion. Barefoot completion means you do not need anything, just you drill a hole, you get a production, like uh, only casing is there, or maybe you can put one tubing. Okay. You put one tubing and tubing will get production. So, you are not putting any sand control and other equipment. So, next is uh, pre drilled slotted liner. 
So, you drill a hole and you put a tubing and you put lots of liner, pre drilled liner. Liner means like one pipe is there, one end close, then you put lots of small, small holes. So, the fluid oil gas will be entering there, but big sand particle may not enter into that uh, slotted liner. So, it is the easiest option for sand control. If sand is coming, this uh, because of small, small holes and may not be entering, so you will get oil and gas. Okay. So, this is called pre drilled slotted liner. Liner and this fluid will be entering into the well bore uh, because reservoir pressure is higher. Okay. Natural flow will be existing and sometimes cementing and perforation also will be required. Okay, let us say this hole uh, you have uh, casing and uh, cementing is done, perforations. Okay, this area maybe will be cemented. Okay, and you have to perforate also. So, perforation I will discuss later. Perforation means like only making hole on the pipe will not help, you cement it properly, then you put long hole so that reservoir can be connected to the well bore and you will get production because uh, if you do not do that then there will be no production actually because of uh, sand is not so much permeable. Uh, permeability means like connect connection between the pores like here small amount of uh, oil is there small oil small oil if you are not connecting that small small pockets in uh, then you drill a hole but you get a small pocket oil or oil or gas but other pocket will have oil or gas but there is no connection so no no pipe or no uh, connectivity or no channel so you are not getting production from there also so if you can make connection then your production will be higher because you are getting this pocket this pocket this pocket this pocket, all pockets are connected then you will get more production okay so cementing and perforation will be done in some cases in some cases um, open hole sand control sand control open hole sand control means you have only pipe and you did not put any sand control equipment so uh, sand will be coming automatically uh, maybe in that case unconsolidated cases you cannot do that consolidated case maybe you can allow that one uh, so so there are different types of sand control system one is that you drill a hole and do not think about sand coming or not just get production and next thing is that you drill a hole you put some pipe with some small small holes that is a slotted liner you put there so that sand con sand amount of sand coming into the well bore will be reduced and you will get production another case is that you put casing cement properly then there will be no flow then you put lots of perforations okay lots of long long holes so that hole will be connecting reservoir fluid the pockets into your well bore and you will get production so uh, and if you are not using that sand control technique what will happen so sand why sand control Why sand control? Sand control is required because if you are getting very large amount of sand, sand will be blocking the fluid uh, conduit, blocking conduits or pipes or chokes or valves anywhere is there, sand will be getting slowly deposited that uh, area will be blocked. Erosion, erosion will be there. Erosion means at high velocity if sand is moving through the pipe, so pipe will get continuously heated by this uh, sand particle. When sand particle heating continuously, the pipe erosion will be there. So, the, because of erosion, there will be some leakage or there, there will be some failure in future. There may be some hole instability, instability, uh, so, uh, not W, hole instability. Hole stability means uh, you are getting lots of lots of sand. Then what will happen? Reservoir sand is going up into uh, into going uh, going up to the surface from through the well bore. So reservoir that area will be unstable actually because sand is gradually moving. So sometimes sand big sand particle will be falling. Then there will be more sand. There will be productivity change. So normally completion engineer or the production engineer they will assume that stable production rate. So, stable production means like you are getting 5 barrel per day. So, that will be maintained for maybe 1 year or 6 months or 2 years. If you are getting suddenly change in production rate, let us say 5 barrel to 10 barrel or 10 barrel to 1 barrel, then the sand uh, can start producing again. So, sand production means actually economical loss because surface systems will be blocked 
or maybe erosion rate will be higher or hole will be unstable. So then whole system will be disturbed. So production engineer will always think that how can you how can the person can get stable production, not maximizing or minimizing. So stable production for longer period that will give them more benefit. If it is unstable, then every time they will have to change their setting in surface system, like you get oil and gas on the surface, and in surface you have one uh, separator system and separated system will have some pressure rating. So, within certain pressure and velocity only that will work. So, suddenly we are changing flow rate to 5 to 10 barrel. Uh, so, in oil and gas they use uh, unit barrel. So, 5 to 10 barrel you are using though then your separator will not work. If separator is not working then subsequent other separator and other system will not work. So, whole system will get disturbed. So, oil and gas engineers will production engineer will think stable production for longer period uh, like say 1 year, 2 year or 6 month once they get stable period then again if some reservoir uh, pressure is changed and well bore pressure is changed then again they will have to set whole system so that will take certain time and cleaning also will be problem if you have sand issues there mm, cleaning of piping and valves and chokes if it is getting blocked so sand controlling is an important part during completion operations so uh, during completion stage there are two stage actually one is upper completion another is lower completion in upper completion, let us say you drill a hole well bore and you have bottom part I already explained that is lower completion that is sand control and other use sand control, uh, uh, sand control then safety valve, one safety valve will be there, uh, safety, -E safety valve, safety valve will be there and some perforating other these are called lower completion during upper completion upper completion means you have one well head and we, you may have one christmas tree okay you may have christmas well head then you have choke and you have a tubing hanger, casing hanger, many other item will be there. So, those up, this is upper completion. Okay. So, well head will contain the casing hanger. Tubing hanger. Tubing hanger and it will allow flow flow path this it will allow flow path because when fluid is coming from well bore to the surface so it will pass through well head so well head will give the flow uh, coming out how it will come out it will be connected to choke and there will be accessibility for kill kill fluid kill Kill fluid accessibility will be there. Kill fluid accessibility means like if there is any issue in well bore, you inject very high density fluid in the well bore so that fluid uh, oil, oil and gas production will be stopped. Because if uncontrolled oil and gas coming to the surface, that will be disaster or dangerous because that is a combustible mixture when it is coming to atmosphere. So that can uh, create blast or big fire. So if you if something is wrong, then you inject kill fluid stop the production. For example, there is a um, failure in artificial lift in, uh, uh, in uh, well bore and you want to replace centrifugal pump or ESP, electric submersible pump. So, if you want to replace that one, first you have to stop production. So, in that case you inject kill fluid, very high density fluid and the when reservoir pressure and your uh, hydrostatic pressure on the column will be equal, then there will be no production. There will be oil and gas will not enter into the well bore. So, in that case, flow stop, now remove your tubing, remove your centrifugal pump or uh, ESP system, then again inject that one. After once injection is done, then you inject certain other fluid to replace the high density fluid or kill fluid. Once kill fluid is removed from the well bore, again reservoir will be producing, production will be started. So, that is why the kill wing or kill uh, fluid. Uh, uh, one one flow path will be there uh, to uh, control the flow during any operations. 
and another term is called uh, choke so choke is actually one valve choke valve will be there choke valve will be giving one step, uh, production uh, con controlling mechanism so let's say you want five barrel per day so choke will have some uh, wheel type thing you change the wheel and you control the flow rate and you do not give any shock to well bore so whenever you are changing in a production rate you have to do slowly you have to discuss with reservoir engineers and you have to see whether again sand accumulation or water will come or not for example if you are changing production rate 5 barrel to 10 barrel so sometime water will be coming more than your oil or gas so water you produce but water is not usable you have to dispose it and disposing also not easy because if any hydrocarbon is there you have to remove that hydrocarbon that is also again expensive process so you have to avoid to get water but in any well boss life you will be producing more water than your oil and gas but if you can avoid as much as possible that is your that is better so it will be economical because dispose disposing water is difficult you have to inject re-inject the well bore or you have to remove the uh, hydrocarbon particle and you have to dispose anywhere so that is also expensive process so you cannot change production rate suddenly if you are changing you have to change slowly smoothly you cannot give shock to reservoir suddenly you are getting production so then uh, uh, that sand or water uh, ratio will change so that will be a big problem e economical problem or maintaining whole system will be a big problem so choke valve will be there to control your flow whether you want to get zero flow or 100, uh, 100 barrel two barrel so that that control will have uh, if you have choke one next is christmas tree christmas tree when you are drilling a hole first you install a uh, well head during drilling stage and well head will contain one uh, uh, one system called BOP. I'll write one BOP. Blowout preventer. So in BOP, what happens? You have reservoir like this. I already explained, I think. And uh, let's say gas is here, cap rock is here, and you're drilling a hole up to there. Okay, you drill a hole up to cap rock. Cap rock. Then suddenly your drill bit reaches to your gas zone so what will happen because cap rock there is no pressure but when cap rock is cap rock cutting is done it is reached to gas zone gas is a very high pressure so gas will try to enter to uh, your drill pipe and other areas and the gas will go out suddenly okay so if your hydrostatic pressure whatever you are giving through your mud drilling mud is having high, certain pressure because of high density i already told so high density mud if it is unable to control then it will be gushing out so when it is gushing out the hydrostatic mud is not able to con uh, uh, control your flow then there will be one equipment called bop or blow out preventer preventer okay so blow out preventer will stop the flow so uh, and when blow out preventer is taking action so ho whole work will be stopped actually because that is unsafe situation so once blow out preventer has taken action again drilling engineers will try to check whether mud density and other thing again they will be taking control over the well bore if they are not controlling then there will be big fire so a few years back in 2010 i think in mexico uh, there was drilling offshore drilling and the semi submersible called deep water horizon so when people are drilling uh, suddenly some gas came up and because of the gas coming up bop took action but somehow dear bop also failed and because of failing action the gas came out fire started and because of fire a few engineers got died and the whole semi submersible got submerged and lots of oil and gas went into the water so when the oil and gas is going to water means it is environmental hazardous and 
and later after a few months a british petroleum they were drilling uh, in american water in mexico they took control over this well bore and they are producing again so bop is there se several stages of ram or valve will be there in bop so if you want a step is not acting another step will take action so somehow the whole bop did not work and whole semi submersible huge platform got submerged into the well bore in, 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 into the water okay so during drilling first you install a well head uh, and you access well bore and over well head you put your bop blow out preventer okay so once drilling is done then you put christmas tree how to put christmas tree you have well head okay so you have casing hanger tubing hanger and flow loop flow line all these things and christmas tree what will happen it will have one valve then it will have another valve several valves will be there actually to control the flow why the uh, there will be several valves uh, because there will be because of safety issue primary valve will be there secondary valve will be there killing valve so many valves will be there if you see any picture if you google search google image of christmas tree for oil and gas there will be several valves arrangement so there will be lower lower valve lower valve there will be upper then there will be another valve kill uh, wing kill choke wing choke then there will be other here there will be another valve uh, swab then some other, more valve will be there then we want pressure gauge okay so uh, so christmas tree it is like uh, several valves will be fitted on this one uh, so once drilling is over so they will be put christmas tree and they will get stable production so through choke you will get production and killing actually to inject the high viscosity high density uh, fluid so during well completion you have to fix upper completion part lower completion part once this is done then you hand over this one to uh, production engineer so production engineer will get stable production and they will maintain other part so later we will discuss you have very solid rock uh, so you have reservoir like this okay gas is there oil is there maybe okay gas and cap rock okay so many time the oil or gas may be there with concentrated sand and very strong rock and there is no connectivity permeability the term when you are learning oil and gas you should remember the two term permeability porosity so uh, actually reservoir will have lots of pores okay so pores may not be connected the pores are not connected and you drill a hole so you are not getting production actually so it must be it must be connected so if it is permeable rock then it will be connected actually okay because of connection you will get production many time there will be pores but it is not connected so what you do you do fracking so what how do you do you fracking you drill a hole okay you drill a hole after that the uh, you put very high pressure from the surface from surface you put a pump and put very high pressure and uh, that is that formation area you try to crack the rock because of very high pressure the rock will be cracked like this when rock is cracked you create some space like uh, jaw then uh, the, all the particles like say rock is cracked like this okay so small small pores what are pores are there all around they will be connected and you got longer connectivity from well bore all right so when when you got longer connectivity from well bore uh, then you will get more production but what happens you crack it but again it will be getting closed so what you do in that case you put lots of sand particle here called propant okay so lots of sand particle you put inside this one so that uh, this uh, it is open but because of sand particle it will not be getting closed because of this okay it will not get closed so it will be creating some gap because of the gap oil and gas will be entering into your well bore and you will get production 
and you create many such crack many, so it's called hydro fracking or hydro spelling is some f a f a f a f r s c i n g fracking or fracturing and another term is called acid fracturing in acid fracturing what you do you apply higher pressure crack it and put hydrochloric acid okay so hcl you put and if you have rock with calcium carbonate so ca cl plus h2o right because of this reaction what will happen you create a uh, hole and this acid will reach here and there it will create lots of small small pores acid will be reacting with the uh, uh, calcium carbonate and you you will get more connectivity so many time people uh, the uh, engineers petroleum engineers they will be going for acid fracturing they will be injecting hydro concentrated hydrochloric acid into the well bore that will be reacting with calcium carbonate rock when rock will be eroded by this acid reaction when that reaction is completed rock will be actually automatically open because already something is eroded like in previous case only hydrofracking you are putting propant and you are keeping rock like this but in present case you don't have to do this one just because of erosion automatically it will be creating a gap and lots of small small pores also will go so because of that you will get more production okay so this one you do during your completion stage perforations i already talked about perforations so perf what is perforation perforation means again if you have solid rock uh, uh, consolidated formation you did cementing and reservoir is here okay reservoir is here and if it is cemented then you are not getting production so what you do you do perforations you make hole in the cement and casing how to do it so when you have this one uh, cemented area you make hole like this okay so how to do it uh, do, do this hole so normally there will be on perforation gun so uh, normally this uh, tnt and rdx the, those uh, the, the companies will be injecting through one gun okay so the gun uh, insert it here when gun is here the gun powder will be blasting here will get blasted okay because of blasting this holes will get created okay this is called perforations and those uh, 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 items like rdx tnt and many other uh, many other chemicals which will be creating very high pressure uh, because of the high pressure those rocks will be broken and it will be creating hole and normally those uh, are very sensitive uh, material so if uh, big oil companies are there so they will get government permission they been transporting from one country to another country and uh, misuse also very um, possible so uh, government uh, will be restricting to use of this items only ongc and other uh, big companies they will have only the license to use this and with permission only selective perforation means like you have one reservoir okay here oil here gas uh, gas here water again uh, here maybe oil okay now you drill a hole and where to perforate so uh, if you want to get oil so drill this area only but if you want to get gas then you drill the gas area only uh, so you have to check where oil is there where gas is there where what is there so by mistake you should not drill uh, should perforate the water area put a casing put cementing don't perforate water area if you are perforating water area you will get more water so you drill oil area okay then you get oil you get drill gas area then you get gas but whenever you are drilling first time if you have gas and oil both then you try to get oil first then you try to get gas because gas will be expanding if you are taking gas at the beginning then oil will not have sufficient pressure so what you do you take oil out then once oil production productivity is very low not economical then you try to take gas 
okay and any well bore will have water oil gas and mixture and based on the gas oil ratio gor they say based on gas oil ratio the engineers will be dividing this is gas well or well well if oil percent is very high then they will be assuming this is oil well the gas also will be coming and we have to handle and that that is a one challenge for artificial lifting selecting method okay now you drill uh, you explored drill a hole completed completed means you put drill pipe casing cementing done perforation done fracturing done now well head fixed uh, christmas tree fixed keel wing fixed choke fixed now well bore is ready for production okay so production will be done through well head and christmas tree and you will have one choke also to control the flow now where is artificial lift so uh, during completion stage during completion stage if reservoir pressure reservoir pressure is low then you need to give certain pressure so that fluid will be moving up to the surface if reservoir pressure is very high then there will be natural flow so normally uh, many reservoir will have natural flow initially for few years maybe then later gradually uh, when you are taking fluid out from the well bore the pressure will be going down 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 after certain time the productivity low and af after some time again there will be no production actually so in that case if you want to get economical production you have to put some artificial means artificial me machines or artificial mechanism to lift well uh, fluid from the uh, well bore to the surface so uh, so artificial lift will be doing the task so there are several artificial lifting techniques for example gas lift electric submersible submersible pump progressive cavity pump saccharide pump and jet pump hydraulic jet pump or hydraulic engine pump so those artificial lifting, lifting technique uh, can be used for pumping well bore sand control in sand control i already told the sand is detrimental to your production uh, for example if you have higher amount of sand then it will be blocking your uh, flow path or it will be eroding a uh, surface or it will be making unstable well bore so how sand is getting control let's say assume one well bore is here okay and i have one perforation uh, perforated well bore this is uh, cemented area and after perforation i got it rock like this okay how okay so this is perforation tunnel and this is rock uh, and this is sand this is cementing this is casing this is well bore and this is whole reservoir this is reservoir now when uh, you are producing sand uh, producing well uh, oil or gas so initially there will be little bit higher sand so slowly it will form one arch you see this one uh, small arch is formed okay and if you are changing suddenly your production rate what will happen this arch will be broken when arch is broken again ne till new arch is formed sand production will continue will, will be continued so till you get again another arch sand production is going on so you are getting more sand production actually that's why in the surface you should not give shock to the well bore suddenly you should not change your productivity rate so that you will get stable production for longer period low sand low water injection and you will be more economical. Thank you very much.